Hello again, my YouTube brothers and sisters. You ever look at the news? Joe Biden running for president. Nobody seems to care about his in-length background and long list of horrible c crimes against children. New Hampshire just had the first United States transgender elected state legislator. It's supposedly a buyer's market. Interest rates are really low and there's no jobs. A woman breastfed her dog. Men wearing nail polish is normal. The pandemic is worse but that they're opening restaurants and, and, and Vegas is open for business. Kanye West, they call him God. Yahoo and AOL combined by Verizon and they call, they're calling the company Oath. Florida breaks a new pandemic record but yet the beaches are full and people are planning 4th of July. I don't know. These seem like things that make you just go, hmm. And then we have these YouTubers on here that call themselves Christians and make jokes and mock God and take 30, 40 people by the hand with them down the road to hell. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened, but this whole world has gone crazy. Let me tell you something. If you have a little common sense left, brothers and sisters, you will stay as close to Jesus Christ as possible, and you will stay as far away from people as possible. Who cares if you're alone and you just have Jesus? That's the best way to live. I'm blessed. I really am. I'm happy that the Lord pulled me out of the world and I'm up here on a mountain all by myself. I really don't want to be bothered with people anymore. They're all disappointing. They're all going in the wrong direction. And the few that aren't, and, I'm, and I love you that are out there, well, what could we do? We have to stay as close to Jesus as possible, but we have to start speaking up. Yes, we do. And I am. I stopped, but I have to come back on here and say that there's just stupid people out there. Yep. Pastors, wannabe pastors, telling people, just believe, we fly soon. <laughs> what are you going to do? You said that six months ago, a year ago, two years ago. What are you going to do? What are you going to do in September? What are you going to say in October? What are you going to say next 2021? Yet, all your followers follow along like sheep. They don't hear Father's voice. They hear your false teaching. <sighs> I don't know. All I know is the world is upside down, brothers and sisters. Upside down. Now they're taking away people's passports. Yeah. S blaming it on this pandemic. What's next? We have one president that who knows anymore, you know, throwing up 666 signs and not improving anything. I don't see an improvement. And we have one running, like I said, with a long list of crimes against children. me and you sit here and scratch our head and cry and are disappointed, could you only imagine how 
God the Father and His Son Jesus Christ feels? Sad. Look. All I know is I'm tired of it. I am tired of it. But I certainly am not going to close my eyes and look the other way. As long as I have a voice, as long as I have a phone, and as long as I have a platform, I'm here to tell anybody that follows any politician that I call suits and think they're there to help you, you got another guest coming. I'm also here to tell you that if you keep following these false teachers on YouTube that call themselves uh, pastors and watch women and all this stuff, and they blasphemy the Holy Spirit and the, the, the Word of God. They tell you that you could just believe and walk around and keep sitting and doing what you, what you want. You're all in for a rude awakening. A rude awakening. And as I always say, I don't care. I'm, I don't care if I'm popular. I don't care how many hit the thumbs down. I don't care about any of it. All I care about is Jesus Christ and my walk with Him. And if you people can't see that you are being fooled by these false teachers that lie, every week it's a different thing. I just had a dream. The Lord told me this. We're going to fly soon. But they don't read the word of God where it says no such thing. And now people are making glitter masks, designer masks. Yeah, encouraging this. Go out and spend $45 to $100 just to have a glitter mask that's made by... Uh, some stupid designer. Well, the, the designer isn't stupid. You're stupid for buying it, quite frankly. This is ridiculous. You watch the news and it says, numbers are up, pandemic's up, people are dying, people are, are swallowing um, uh, all sorts of uh, hand sanitizers. Now two are blind and three are dead. Woman breastfeeding her dog. Interest rates low. Buy a house. Fourth of July is coming. What are you doing? All in between. Twisted. Absolutely twisted. I don't know about you, brothers and sisters, but I'm telling you right now, do not follow that road and that crowd. Don't. If you have to walk alone, walk alone. Do not follow those false wolves. That's what they are. They might look pretty. They may look sane. They may look like they know what they're talking about. But I'm telling you, I'm telling you straight up like it is. And I don't care if I have one subscriber or zero subscribers. I really don't. But I'm not going to shut up. Nope. Nope. If my father were alive today, whew, there'd be a few people around getting smacks in their face for how they act, dress, treat people. It's a disgrace. A disgrace. And don't tell me that Jesus okay, loved everybody because it's not so. Don't tell me that Jesus didn't get angry and throw the tables. Don't tell me, okay, that John the Baptist didn't tell people what it was and how it was and what it's all about. He just spoke it, said it, did it. And I'm doing it too. I am. I'm tired of this. This is the most ridiculous thing that I've ever seen happen, ever. And it's only getting worse. Only getting worse. You pick up the newspaper and there's all this negativity and in between there's positivity and in between they're telling you to go buy a house but then yet, 
oh, come September, there's going to be this and there's going to be that and the numbers are higher and this and that. They want your money. They want your money. They want whatever money you have because the new world order's coming in. They're trying to chip everybody. They want your money so you go flat broke and you're dependent to, totally dependent on them. That's what they want. You to go broke. You to do whatever you can to go get a down payment and buy a house and then they're going to take it from you. That's what's going down. That's what's going down. And we are in a world, okay, a country where a, a, a man that has crimes against children is running for president? <laughs> Unbelievable. Unbelievable. Well, that's my rant, and I'll be back, God willing. Walk with Jesus. Walk with Jesus straight. Tunnel vision, tunnel vision, Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ, on your knees, on your knees, obey him, follow his commandments, and don't fall for this crap, as Tim Henderson says, he's crap, Osis is crap, and it's all crap, and wake up, wake up and follow Jesus Christ, please, please follow Jesus, this is ridiculous, <laughs> it's ridiculous. Ciao!